Good afternoon, world. This is Dr. Rico Short, the Root Canal, special to the stars, the Grace Life teacher, the inspirational motivator for you on this successful Saturday. Man, today is such a special day for me. You say, you know, it's, um, you know, it's dreary outside in Atlanta. You know why it's special to me? It's special because today marks the one year anniversary in which I had my eye accident. And I didn't think I was going to make it. And I believe that, you know, God was going to come through, but I didn't know how. So through all this animosity, through all this stress that I had to endure, God prompted me to journal and write down my feelings, write down scriptures and write down things that was going to help me through this journey. I didn't know if this journey was going to be one month one year or 10 years. You know, I lost eyesight in my eye going down a water slide with my family on vacation and my life got turned upside down. And some of you guys right now may be going through something where your life has been turned upside down. Maybe you got a bad diagnosis um, with your health. Maybe you lost your job. Maybe you lost your business. Maybe you lost a loved one that's close to you due to the COVID situation. I don't know. But I want to come to you on this Saturday to encourage you. In fact, I'm going to discuss and do a little devotion out of my latest book. It's called In the Eye of a Storm, 45 Days of Turbulence and Peace. And today, I want to talk to you guys about day one here. You can see day one. Day one, um, the subject matter is gratitude rewires your brain. Gratitude rewires your brain. How many of you guys are just thankful just for just being alive? I'm not saying thankful for your car, thank you for your home. I'm talking about just being thankful for being alive, thankful that God has given you another opportunity just to be everything that he created you to be because other people, they may not have made it. You might know somebody who is not here right now, who was here last year. You may know somebody right now that made one bad decision and now they're sitting in a jail cell somewhere. And by the grace of God, you are not. So let's go into the discussion about day number one in my new book, In the Eye of a Storm. It reads, in life, we encounter things that make us very happy and things that make us very upset. My eye injury has been one of those situations that was making me bitter. So yes, I was even bitter during the situation. And why was I bitter? Because I'm like, God, why does this thing happen to me? I pray, I read my Bible, I do all these quote unquote right things. And why in the world would this thing happen to me? So I started feeling bitter. It's very dangerous to live with a mind full of remorse and bitterness. However, what do you do when facing a situation you can't change? What do you do when you face a situation you can't change? Did you know we can erase the negativity and bitterness from our mind? Actually, neuroscience has proven it. Neuroscience has revealed gratitude can literally rewire our brain cells to be happier. Gratitude can literally rewire our brain cells to be happier. According to UCLA's Mindful Awareness Research Center, regularly expressing gratitude literally changes the molecular structure of our brain. It keeps the gray matter functioning and makes us healthier and happier. See, when you feel happy, the central nervous system is affected tremendously. You are more peaceful, less reactive, and less resistant to interact with others, even with everything going on, even with all the racial tension going on, even with this political uproar stuff going on, you have the ability to remain happy and remain stable. And this can rewire your brain. It's a game changer. See, studies show you actually desire to exercise more. In fact, that's me. Since I had my eye injury, man, I just rewired my brain. And by the grace of God, I've lost 25 pounds since I had my eye injury. And so this is true. I'm telling you, gratitude is true. It allowed me to lose more weight and even desire to eat healthier, which translate to a longer healthier and prosperous life. Now, who would want that in their daily routine? I would. In addition, gratitude is associated with better sleep, less anxiety, less depression. That means you can get off some of those um, depression medications like Zoloft and Paxil and those kind of things. You can also get better sleep and you don't have to take all these sleep aids. 
I'm gonna tell you one thing that helps me. Um, I, I take a melatonin, a three milligram melatonin when I had a rough day, and I take it probably about eight o'clock at night. So by the time I wind down, it helps me to get a deeper sleep so I can be more functional in the morning. And also it allows my brain cells to regenerate. It allows my um, And this can also save a lot of money in the future. Why? Because you don't ever have to be always at the doctor and you're on all this medication and you don't have to worry about, you know, being on all these drugs that you may not even need. So your body was created to heal itself once it's put in the proper position. I'm gonna repeat that. Your body with the right nutrition, with the right sleep, with the right exercise is designed to heal itself of any issue that it's dealing with. Now, obviously when you have acute issues that your body can't help you with, what do I mean by that? Heart attack, car accidents, you know, toothaches, any kind of trauma, you will need to see a doctor for that. And so, and that's why God created us so we can help you in most of the acute situations. But a lot of times in the chronic issues that we deal with, if we have a lifestyle change, a mental shift, and we um, just get around positive people, your brain will change and so will your body and so will your lifestyle. So this savings can also create a nest egg for more retirement. It can create a nest egg for more retirement. So all the money you're spending running to the doctors and buying all these medications, you can actually be putting that way money away for retirement so you can really enjoy the latter half of your life. So gratitude or simply being thankful is the most effective practice for stimulating feelings of happiness. I'm going to give you three simple steps that can help you feel more grateful. Number one, start by praying. You say, Dr. Show, what is praying? Praying is just communicating with God, just like I'm talking to you right now. How have your prayer life been lately? See, praying is like your kidneys that filter all the toxins from your body. Prayer is like the blood running through your spiritual veins. Prayer is an unseen but powerful force. Prayer is the protective force around your life and your family life. It positions us in a place of power. Prayer positions us in a place of power. We should never underestimate the power of prayer in our lives and praying for other people in their lives. Prayer is also an indicator of health of our relationship with God. Whether praying in the natural or your spiritual tongue, I've been given a gift of that. One day I'll be able to explain to you how I actually got filled with the gift of tongues one day at a church service when I was going over at Creflo Dollar World Changers. And it was a game changer and it's helped me. It's, it's been like a secret weapon of mine when I'm facing some really serious um, warfare. So um, when you pray in the natural, pray in your spiritual tongue, it gets all of heaven's attention. It gets your angels to rout up for you, to war for you. It creates communication to the unseen heavenly world like Wi-Fi connections. Prayer guards our spirit. Prayer guards our mind. Prayer is a secret place, an uncelebrated place, at times a painful place, but it's critical and crucial for it to take place. Now, I'm asking you this question. What does your prayer look like right now? You know, are you putting yourself in a place of power through prayer or are you short circuiting your connection to God? Are you putting your play, putting, putting yourself in God's hand so that he can protect you and you can have the weapons that you need to be victorious in this world? So that's number one, start by praying. That's how you become more grateful. Number two is being thankful. If you only got time to say one prayer today, make it the simple words of God, I thank you. God, I thank you. It does not matter if you're facing a giant mountain or a giant Goliath or a pimple on your nose and you're getting ready for this photo shoot, okay? You can pray and ask God to help you and be thankful that even though it may not come right now, the answer is on the way. This is worth keeping in mind as you go about figuring out your daily practices and routines. It has helped me during this eye injury journey tremendously. Keep a daily journal of three things that you are thankful for daily and just jot those things down. Three things, say, I'm thankful for my health, I'm thankful for my wife, and I'm thankful for my kids. That's all three things. 
and you jot those things down and that creates the rewiring of your brain for gratitude. And this works well. I would recommend doing this early in the morning or you can do it just before you go to bed. Journaling is powerful. Why? Because when God answers those prayers, you will be able to look back and see how he has brought you through. Number three, the third step is becoming more grateful. It's complimenting others and yourself. That's right. You have to get up in the morning and look at yourself in the mirror. It's like, my goodness, I look good. My goodness, I smell good. My goodness, I'm just, you know, my hair ain't nappy. Whatever it is, you got to just create something about yourself. Compliment something about yourself and compliment something about others. Compliment your wife. Tell your wife you wake up, you look beautiful today. She may say, boy, stop. I don't even got no makeup on. But that's cool. You compliment that. You compliment your children. Say, I am so happy that I am your father. I am so happy that I am your mother because that instill this seed of gratitude, instills a seed of greatness inside of them that they will never, ever forget that. So you want to make it a practice to tell your spouse. You may say, Dr. Short, I'm not married. Well, tell your boyfriend or your girlfriend, give them a compliment. You say, Dr. Shore, I don't have a boyfriend or girlfriend. Okay, well, tell a stranger. Say, hey, Miss Jones, I love that pocketbook. Oh, Miss Jones, those heels look good on you. Hey, uh, 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 hey, brother Larry, man, that shirt is fitting you like a glove, man. You look great. And not only that helps them, that helps you. See, when you give compliments to other people, guess what God is going to do? He's going to make sure other people give compliments to you. That's right. It's like the boomerang effect, man. What you send out is going to come back to you, press down, shaking and running over. And I'm not talking about this money. I'm talking about compliments. I'm talking about wisdom. When I'm getting on here and I'm talking to you guys about these things that's giving you guys keys in your life, man, God actually downloads supernatural stuff to me and it blesses me and I turn around and share it with you. It doesn't matter if it's about endodontics. It doesn't matter if it's about medicine or dentistry or root canals, or just life, man. That's what happens. The more you give out, the more God is going to give in to you. And you don't do it like a slot machine. You don't do it like you go into Vegas and you say, I'm going to put $100 in because I know if I hit it big, I'm going to get $3,000 out. No, you do it because you love God and you have a heart for people. I'm going to repeat that. You do what you do because you love God and you got a heart for people and God will make sure that you have Ephesians 3.20 blessings. You have so much more. You're going to be blessed more than you can ever ask, imagine, or think. So as you go along today, um, and this is in my day one, man. This is just day one, my day one devotional about how gratitude rewires your brain. It's going to help you in every, every, every single aspect, man, of life. And this creates a sense of self-worth. And when you have a sense of self-worth, when someone comes and criticizes you, when someone comes to try to tear you down, you have enough foundation that you can stand on. You can stand on the word of God. You know that you are a king and you know that you are a priest. You know that you are unique. You know that you have the DNA of King Jesus inside of you. So it doesn't matter what somebody says. It doesn't matter if that door closes or that door does not open, man. God has something great in store for you. Look in the mirror when you are brushing your teeth. As a dentist, I can say that. Look in the mirror as you brush your teeth and think about something you have done well recently. Think about something you've done well recently or something you like about yourself and congratulate yourself. See, I find that uh, people, especially with the social media world that we're living in right now, they are so triggered on how many likes they get, how many people are gonna, gonna, gonna give them a heart. You know, you gotta give yourself a like, give yourself a heart. It doesn't matter what other people say. It doesn't matter what other people think. You know, in fact, there, I, I, I'm willing to say there are, there are more people out there that's just jealous of you. They're hating on you. Why? Because they don't have the gift that God has given you and they don't realize that God has given them a gift. God has given them something unique because God cannot run out of blessings. Can't nobody steal your blessings, man. That's why I always say you are not in competition with other people. I'm going to repeat that for the people in the back. You are not in competition with other people. The blessing of God is on you. It's not the location. We're not talking about real estate. 
We're talking about the blessing of God is on you because as a believer, Christ lives in you. He's the hope of glory. He's the treasure inside of you. You have the Holy Spirit that knows where all the treasure is hidden in this earth. You know what it's like? It's like, it's like me going out on Easter and I'm hiding the Easter eggs, right? I know where all the Easter eggs are. I know where the ones that we put the most money in. But everybody don't know that. But guess what? When you have the Holy Spirit inside of you, he will lead you to that golden egg where the treasure is and can't nobody else find it. Can't nobody else find it, man. That's how wonderful this grace life that I always talk about, man. So as I wrap up today on this Saturday, man, you know, I'm just so thankful because it could have been different, man. My eye is functioning at 100% capacity. In fact, I feel like it's better than it was before I had my eye accident. And I'm going to tell you, man, in the eye of a storm, this book is going to break barriers. This book is going to be a New York Times bestseller. I put this book out myself. I didn't have an editor. I didn't have, you know, people to push it uh, for me. I did not have advertising, did not have a publicist. I'm believing this book is going to go to the top of the New York best time seller just because of the grace and mercy of God and just because of you sharing it. And I want to encourage you, get the book. That's just day one, man. This is 45 days of stuff that's going to help you face anything. I don't care if it's in your relationship. I don't care if it's in your marriage. I don't care if it's in your health. I don't care if it's in your business. I don't care what it is. There are keys that God has given me in this book that's going to help you. All right. Love you guys, man. Can I pray for you today? Lord, in the name of Jesus, everybody that can listen to me, everybody that can hear me right now, Lord, give them a heart of peace and a heart of gratitude. Lord, we know that your word says gratitude allows the brain to be rewired, rewired for success, rewired to be everything that you created them to be. Lord, I pray that you move on the hearts of all these people, Lord, not only to read the Bible, also, Lord, I pray that they just Think about purchasing my book, Lord, and just, and it's not me, and it's not all about me, it's all about you, and the things that you've brought me through, through my eye injury journey, Lord, may it help them navigate through whatever storm they're dealing with, whether it's the coronavirus situation, whether it's political situations, whether it's family situations, whether it's marital situations, people, things dealing with their children, Lord, you've given me keys, you put the treasures in that book to help them navigate this thing we call life. And we understand, Lord, that only time you will need a miracle is if things aren't working. And I feel and I believe that some of these people that are listening to me right now need a miracle. Some of these people are addicted to alcohol, addicted to pornography, addicted to lust, addicted to money, and they need you to be the chain breaker for them, Lord. In the name of Jesus, and I pray that you break the chains that are holding them back from being everything you have called them to be. In Jesus' name, man. Love you guys. Have a wonderful weekend. Grace life. Peace. Oh, yeah, you can get my book um, on Amazon. That's right. You can ch check out my book, In the Eye of a Storm. It's on Amazon. And if you really like that book, I have another one that I wrote about five or six years ago called Getting to the Root of Your Problem, 365 Days of inspirational thinking. All right. Love you guys. Peace.